Birdie here. How are you doing? Share news sources in honor of the Queen, in honor of Julian Assange. Okay, in honor of um, all the truth tellers out there, right? In honor of Gary Webb, in honor of multiple other truth tellers out there, right? That's what we're doing. Not in honor of the royals. Definitely not in honor of the royals, right? And gang, disclaimer given. I do not agree with everything that all of these sources of news and information. Um, uh, Elder God says, no, I'm back in my pub. Okay, awesome. I don't go maniac drinking anymore. Okay, okay, Elder God. Uh, I don't agree with everything that all these sources of news and information have. I don't agree with their perspective on everything. Um, on certain things I do. Some of the things I may even disagree with a lot of things they say, but it's a perspective worth having right if you're getting certain sources of news and information it's good to listen to multiple sides i didn't include some of the other stuff that i listened to which are on the fringe or the extreme this way or extreme that way i included sources of information that are that are that you can take to your heart and their perspective might be valid right it's worth having now i've broken this down into um, here I'll show you I've broken this down into like multiple segments okay if you're interested uh, this is what I posted on our gilded uh, server I'll post the link again in the chat link and I broke it down to geopol geopolitics videos podcast okay uh, geopolitics articles perspective from my part of the world sound bites investing in personal finance um domestic and geopolitics videos and substack articles some of the substack people that i follow okay <laughs> god. God says, fuck the lizard football canceling propaganda hilarious gang first place first place if you want sources of geopolitical analysis of what's going on in the world on geopolitical front and as well as economic front the duran the duran okay gang right here and they're they have channels on sensor to bit uh rumble and odyssey the four places that we share information they're also sharing information i usually listen to the duran on rumble okay now just to give you a perspective that uh where i said i don't agree with everything all these channels have to say all these people have to say for example they just put out a video on the death of the queen here and i disagree with half the things that alexander had to say right i even made a comment on it so i don't have to agree with everything that they have to say they just provide a perspective that is well worth having and the duran is phenomenal they have amazing information okay so if you want just one channel to go to to get good sources of news and information on a geopolitical front which includes economics my recommendation is the duran the duran okay um guy about rumble last week uh nagushka says i tried to tell a guy about rumble last week and in his own words that's the alt-right video platform right nagushka i have the same thing happen to me when i was talking to another friend right or my partner then anyway uh, she mentioned to her um to watch a video on bit regarding um this flu that's been going around and our friend told my partner that she was weary of bit shoot it's like it's a video sharing platform what are you talking about right and this this girl is an amazing girl lover lover to death she's fantastic uh you would consider her intelligent but completely propagandized right very unfortunate and i've had other people tell me the same thing about bit shoot and rumble as well pathetic so sad to see them uh brainwashed in such a way right so gang the duran if you want your political news and information now the two people here alexander uh Mark marcos and alex christopho okay they both have their own channel this is alex's channel where he does a couple of up updates a day usually and these are worth checking out as well right so he goes through news 
and uh, the most recent news and he gives his commentary on it and there are anywhere you know 30 minutes around 30 minutes sometimes 40 minutes or so where he talks about um, you know the most recent news right so this is also well worth checking out right but if you don't have time because you're limited on time the Duran gives you both perspectives of this right as well Alexander has his own channel as well and I usually watch him on rumble and Alex I watch on BitChute. now what I do I split up my watch time between the three main platforms right uh, BitChute, rumble and Odyssey some uh, content creators I only watch on BitChute, some on rumble some on Odyssey okay because I want to support all three video sharing platforms and some of the creators some of these people that are creating content are only present on one of those channels one of those platforms okay so this is Alexander's channel and he gives more in-depth commentary of his take of what's going on right so Alex gives more of an update of the news go happening and a quick take on it but Alexander goes through and gives an in-depth analysis sort of a historical perspective on things and a macro uh, picture of what's going on Nagushka says, interesting. I wonder who specifically is telling people such labels about Rumble and Odyssey and BitChute. Uh, I think it's, 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 um, uh, it was part of the Trump derangement syndrome that took effect, right? Because it, when Trump derangement syndrome was building up, when it started hitting in 2016, 2017, it started building up, building up, building up these people were starting to get extremely afraid of what was happening right because it was beyond their their understanding their perspective their reality tunnel as robert anton wilson would say right so what they did they assumed anything outside of the reality tunnel was evil that includes video sharing platforms that's how idiotic their perception became that's how poisonous trump derangement syndrome is that they believed that information the internet was evil if it was not things that were available to them on the censored platforms that they were going to because trump derangement syndrome that's what i saw right that's what i saw okay eldegar says i make time with two devices and 1.5 speed on rumble and bit yeah and i do watch a lot of as elder god mentions some of the videos that i watch i watch at 1.5 or twice the speed right twice the speed i only watch if i know the content creator well because you have to get used to it at double the speed one but 1.5 times the speed is a good way to consume content faster okay gaming goods are you allowed to play those videos on twitch um like th these videos yeah to a certain degree for sure some of the videos no right so we have played um the julian assange's the world tomorrow going through twitch and we uploaded those things to sensor tube as well but i think sensor tube might, might have killed one of them or something uh, so sensor two kills twitch hasn't yet okay elder god biden blindness is a real thing though yeah how did you show yoshi how are you doing welcome to our live stream hope you're doing well brother uh da, 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 da. me clear bams how are you doing so is misinformation and psychological operations through misinformation campaign yeah indeed for sure misinformation disinformation uh um the the whole concept of the other when they point their finger at either platforms or content creators or politicians or anyone right saying the other is evil right it's groupthink okay yoshi i'm doing well i hope you're well too indeed indeed enjoying some cake <laughs> elder god elder god birthday cake he, he sent it over to me from England not really we just bought it here it's very chocolatey and it goes amazing with dark beer oh, so good so gang 
That's three, right? Another place where you want to get a good analysis, if you're interested in Ukraine, what's going on in Ukraine, as well as China as well. But basically, geopolitics mainly focused on war. New Atlas is good. Now, the Duran, I check everything. Alexander and Alex's work, I check most of it. New Atlas, I check some of the stuff. Uh, if it interests me, I take a look at what he has to say, the information he's sharing, uh, specific, especially regarding China and Ukraine and Russia and Europe. Okay, so uh, very good channel, very good analysis uh, coming from the heart. Lots of in-depth analysis. Okay, lots of in-depth information and a take that you don't get from any mainstream sources. That's a given. Most of the information that we're sharing here right yoshi happy 21st birthday you're younger than i am to elder god he says it's my birthday today 21 again ha 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 elder god says okay so the new atlas is pretty good the new atlas is pretty good another person especially regarding ukraine okay is gonzala lira 2 this is his second channel they killed his first channel sensor 2 killed his first channel i don't know why Gonzala is not uploading to Bitchu Rumble or Odyssey. Gonzala is basically the only geopolitical analysis person that I follow that's still only on Sensor 2. Right? He needs to get his ass to either Bitchu Rumble or Odyssey. Okay. I have no idea why he hasn't yet. It's crazy. Like I've got my notifications turned on here, but I never get notifications from Sensor 2 anymore regarding any geopolitical channels or any channels that I've subscribed to. Okay. So Gonzalez, Gonzala Lira's channel, I actually have to make an effort to go there on a regular basis to check to see what he's uploaded recently. And I and I watch a fair bit of his content. Okay. So for example, I watched these two guys. I haven't watched this one yet. You don't see the red mark. I watched the rest. Some of it I watched part of it, right? Uh, whatever it is. But if anyone knows Gonzala, tell him to start uploading to the other video sharing platforms. He's crazy only uploading to Sensor2. He's doing his work a disservice, right? Really. Um, it's sad to see, actually. Okay, but amazing content regarding geopolitics. And he's got a pretty good perspective regarding economics. Okay, so Gonzala Lira is very good. Very good. Okay. Another place I go to to get my geopolitical and political analysis is I check out most of the podcast from the Global Research News Hour, right? If you go on the Global Research site, okay, here they have articles that they post and everything. Fantastic. A lot of the stuff I, you know, I follow their work a lot. I follow their work for couple of decades now at least they've been around for a long time pre 9 11 i believe and phenomenal work okay excellent information must know information i read their articles i have read a lot of their articles but if you scroll down here they have the global research news hour it's a podcast they do basically on a weekly basis and i pretty much make an intention to listen to all the podcasts at least partially anyway at the beginning they do a little news recap of recent events or some not recent events but some of the articles on their sites and then they do in-depth interviews with some of the thinkers of our time okay some of the geopolitical analysts philosophers what whatever it is they do an in-depth interview with one or two different types of people uh talking about basically geopolitical and economic events that are taking place in the world okay elder god twitter is filled with ukraine can't win creators i tell them to check world war ii videos yeah yeah it's it is what it is it is what it is people are very much programmed right now salute gang by the way i got some blackberries too we're eating blackberries like mad because it's amazing blackberry season amazing blackberry season and blackberries and beer go phenomenal together almost everything in beer goes phenomenal together <laughs> right cross talk okay good geopolitical analysis discussion about what's going on this is an rt 
some people will not be able to access this because their countries have banned RT. In Canada, RT is not banned yet, but it is going in that direction. And if it does get banned, I'm just going to go through a VPN to access it because it's a perspective well worth having. And RT is on Rumble as well. So you can check out the information on Rumble. Okay. Yushi, is Ukraine half run by a, a new a new Nazis? Uh, they're not neo-Nazis. They're like literal Nazis, right? There's a like, it is what it is, right? They already know it. Like corporate propaganda has already shared that information. They have their patches. They have their tattoos. They even uh, Washington Post and some of the other main uh propaganda sites back in 2014 15 16 17 18 they actually put out articles stating the same fact right so crosstalk is pretty good they bring in again take what what's being said here with, with a grain of salt for sure right but they do bring in people to discuss certain events which are fantastic like for example in this one in this one talking about taiwan right they have someone that I really like, okay, an American, right? Daniel McAdams, who does the work with Ron Paul, right? And you have, like, this person I've listened to a fair bit. This person I've listened to a fair bit. There, there are a lot of amazing people that they bring on to do discussion, geopolitical discussion, and a lot of new faces that I've never seen as well right like here's pepe escobar fantastic and pepe escobar is one of the people that uh uh what do you call it that i listen to a fair bit as well uh read his articles and he's part of my news sources right um da -da -da, yoshi totally run by no not totally yoshi but the ones that were put into power at uh, when the maidan coup happened in 2014 where a democratically elected government was overthrown but with the help of uh, Europe, Western Europe, and uh, the neocons in the United States, those were the people that were put into power, right? Look into what they did in Odessa, where they took a bunch of Russian speaking uh, Ukrainians, men, women, and children, I believe, they cornered them into a building and burnt them alive. And that's the reason why I believe that Russia is going to go at least all the way to Odessa and take over Odessa, okay? Another people that you want to take a look at that I take a look at is Action for Assange, right? Now, Action for Assange, they do sort of panel discussions of things. They bring in guests. Um, they're phenomenal people. Uh, they work hard. They're sharing truth. Uh, they do talk about a little bit of geopolitics, but a lot of domestic uh, politics, spe especially regarding journalism, especially regarding um, censorship especially regarding what is happening to julian assange now they do have a twitch channel that they share information they do their the live streams on but their twitch channel doesn't have very many followers it's like only like 30 40 plus people uh, people that are watching them on twitch but they do have a youtube channel if you click on this you can go to your youtube channel and they do live streams on a regular basis and they have a lot of videos that they share and they do let me take a look uh, Assange promo video they've uploaded where they bring in people from all over the place sometimes there's a lot of people giving the perspective um, but there's a core group that share information so action for Assange is a fantastic group of people sharing some fantastic truth and information okay uh, elder God the US are com complicit and blocking real data coming out of ukraine yeah indeed 100 percent uh elder god russia russia don't want to hurt ukraine they just want influences to leave the region the, uh, the as as russia has said uh multiple times they want to uh denazify the country right now those are some of my main sources for geopolitical analysis and stuff here are some sources uh three that are important articles to read in terms of uh, geopolitics scott ritter and again i'm going to provide the link uh for the announcement page where i loaded oh thank you elder god loaded the 
gilded on our announcement page where I loaded all the links to the stuff that we're going through. So you can grab all these links from our gilded server on the announcement page, right? But if you want to get an amazing analysis of what's going on right now, he's writing a lot about Ukraine and China as well, as well as sort of Europe in general. Scott Ritter, a trusted source of information for me since early 2000s like pre-iraq war because he was one of the people that was trying to prevent the iraq war from happening okay first time chad lizard wizard read scott ritter biography sometimes yeah i've read it i know it okay and if you're talking about the charges that they brought against them that's how the deep state the cia and fbi tries to silence people and they've done it to multiple people read his biography he was a weapons inspector representing the united states in iraq he knew that iraq didn't have any weapons of mass destruction okay and he tried to prevent the iraq war from happening i.e saving a million lives plus millions of people from being displaced and the disaster that's happened right and everything that's come about with isis okay he tried to prevent it the united states fired him removed him from power and then they brought certain charges against them which were total bs right but a first time chat salute to you and gang do not forget do not forget free assange free assange free assange julian Assange, the publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capital's power to humanity something that we desperately need in our societies for more information see wikileaks.org or defend dot wikileaks dot org okay as for scott litter ritter he's got tons of articles great analysis must know perspective must know perspective okay another person must know perspective pepe escobar he jumps around a lot so you have to be on the ball following his work okay right now he's publishing on the crate cradle okay and again he's got a lot of articles especially uh, focused on asia okay because he's been uh following the chinese belt and road initiative what's going on in china what's going on in asia specifically as well as russia how this whole thing is expanding and it's an important perspective to have it'll give you an understanding of what's really taking place okay Sol Invictus 10, how are you doing? Hey Chicho, did you see Bernie Sanders addressing the Senate about climate change a couple of days ago? Chilling stuff. No, no, I didn't watch Bernie Sanders. I consider Bernie Sanders to be a clown, right? He was bought and paid for a thousand times over. He was just controlled opposition to make sure the masses didn't get pissed enough to ask for retribution, right? Elegato Yoshi, Ukraine is your cousin who has been influenced by a big bully and russia are just trying to wake wake up wake them up from this and remove certain american assets yeah pretty much right pretty much so pepe escobar is well worth reading in-depth articles in-depth articles okay another uh, site that i go to on a regular basis moon of alabama okay moon of alabama sort of gives you a perspective on many different things uh, lots of information lots of links lots of resources uh connects up a lot of different things that are happening in the world okay and it has a nice economic slant to it as well okay so moon of alabama what did bernie say let's check it out bernie quote was just controlled opposition laugh a lot i don't think so not everything is a black and white you show uh solo victus he he continued to support the dnc when they robbed him of the nomination twice right that's controlled opposition he didn't make a stand he didn't say the hell with you guys you guys are clowns right i'm starting my own party i don't care if his party would have been small he would have had a bigger effect on american society than stick sticking with the dnc no doubt no doubt okay he he took people that were genuinely angry at the system wanted change 
and he took the steam out of them right that's controlled opposition that's what that is right that's what that is right he came out in support of overthrowing uh doing a coup in uh venezuela right wait a second what the hell he supports overthrowing governments right no he may say say certain things which are legit yeah but when it comes down to it he drops the ball hardcore bernie bernie is nothing right yoshi thanks brother every day we live under big brother every day we live under big brother mr hezekiah how are you doing welcome to another live stream hello all hope stream is going well not bad not bad now there are i created a category here i'll show you this i created a category boop here perspective from my part of the world right this thing here and the links again are in um, in the gilded announcement page and i'll provide the links in the description of these videos right from my part of the world meaning the people that we're going to take a look at first one would be cliff high okay the woo guy right well worth listening to cliff high he also has a substack page as well okay but this is on bitshoot this is the only place he uploads his videos on bitshoot and uh he has a nice perspective of what's going on in the world uh especially regarding economics uh and politics not geopolitics but politics right so he has a fantastic perspective on what's going on economically in the world and the politics behind it okay not necessarily geopolitics and the reason i say he's in my part of the world because he's in washington okay which is just a hop over the water the the inlet here to washington state right so he's part of the pacific northwest and he has sort of the same perspective same uh climate same mentality as we do in british columbia canada right so cliff high is uh well worth looking into check out his videos some of the stuff that he that he does seems a little cryptic but you have to follow his work for a while to appreciate what it is that he's talking about and to uh, get a feel for uh, what's coming okay more cake gang which is basically his main thesis is we're in the beginning stages of a complete collapse of the western uh, economic system and the global economic system someone's asking me uh jonas jonas uh thanks for bringing this up thoughts on russell brand let me have a sip on the beer now russell brand some people could call him a controlled opposition one of the reasons they call him controlled opposition is because he's still allowed to publish to put out content on sensor tube the stuff that Russell Brand is putting on SensorTube, if we mentioned like a fraction of that on SensorTube, our channel would have been killed a long time ago, right? So he's being allowed to say certain things on SensorTube that other channels have been killed, destroyed, right? Creators deplatformed for saying way less, right? Now, you can't call someone controlled opposition because they ha they're dangerous for SensorTube for a big platform to de-platform right now i love what russell brand has been doing for the last few months calling out the world economic forum talking about certain health concerns regarding the flu and stuff like this and bringing into light the economic devastation that is being unleashed in the western world so i'm okay with russell brand uh, as long as he continues to do the work that he is doing I don't follow his work i've listened to bits of it some of the things i've listened to fantastic some of the things i've listened to eh, cringeworthy i don't like his delivery mechanism but i that's that's the his delivery mechanism i can't i can't 
uh, really criticize him for that because he's taken a niche niche market and he's giving his audience what he needs right so he he has a certain slant on things which is not to my liking i don't like um his humor is you know it's not bad uh, and he does get certain ideas across with his humor that if i tried doing that on sensor tube i'd be nuked instantly right so kudos to him for doing what he's doing right it's just not someone that i follow on a regular basis i come across his videos every now and then my partner that being said my partner really likes him right she doesn't follow his work all the time but every now and then uh we check out what he's what he's talking about and what he's doing okay i hope that answers your question uh jonas uh elder god the internet is five minutes away from being sarah's eye we in simple terms need a uh, nor node frodo to access the mainframe possibly yeah mr hezekiah chicho what what do you plant your succulent in soil wise oh um, i just got uh, put usually potting soil mr hezekiah just regular potting soil organic potting soil though okay meme clear bands to elder god i'm gonna skip that uh meme clear band. you have a very basic understanding of outdated internet from 2000 it's the elder gods is saying uh to elder god let's read that almost every isp has their own um canadian own cnd and to make a claim that data can be blocked at certain points in the transmission of data is the silliness silliest but here's the thing uh meme clear bams from what I understand there are five or they used to be last time I looked at this was 10 years ago I guess uh, there were five main nodes where most of the internet traffic went through uh, the deep sea cables and stuff like this so if those five main nodes are cut uh, they were no longer in a global internet like physically cut right physically cut meme clear bounds broadband services from form is icap forum internet streaming media alliance organizations at&t horizon google akami limelight uh edgecast have their own infrastructures but going overseas they have to go through those cables from what i understand isn't it isn't uh jonah says isn't alcohol bad for intuition um no alcohol could be okay just don't go crazy on it oh god the land is always the land forts um maybe ungraded but it's still the same land okay i'm going back to this so cliff high is pretty good perspective from my part of the world from washington state which is neighbors to british columbia pacific northwest great perspective on very much on economics and politics and language okay another person from my part of the world from vancouver british columbia okay remark 88 he's canadian uh powerful stuff direct very direct he says what needs to be done and i very much agree with him okay he has a very vancouver uh west coast perspective uh which i can relate to okay uh i watch everything that he puts out so cliff high i watch everything he puts out uh remark 88 i watch everything that he puts out um he's got a very good perspective on certain uh cults uh deep embedded systems from um the uk okay um and he's sharing a lot of truth here regarding economics uh, some economics politics regarding this nasty little flu that's going around and what the agenda is globally okay watch his work watch his work um good perspective very direct i like him okay from the west coast of canada vancouver uh perspective well worth having sharing and i can honestly tell you there are, are a lot of canadians that have the same perspective okay the warriors in canada have this perspective keep this in mind keep this in mind okay another person from my part of the world 
actually on Vancouver Island, very close to where I am. The voice of reason. I really like this guy too. Okay. Again, he's giving a perspective of what's going on in Canada. Okay. How people are dealing with things straight deep down um, sort of grassroots, right? A real human being, a real human being, very Canadian, very Canadian. Okay. Very Canadian. Okay. So, uh, if you want to know what's going on in Canada, the voice of reason is, uh, a good place to start. And he does sort of analysis, news analysis, shares sound bites of information and gives his take on it and spins things around, uh, sort of in a way or connects things up in a way where shines a light on certain events that are taking place lonely piggy how are you doing hello 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 meme says piggy's back lonely piggy we got cake today for elder god's birthday chocolate very very delicious cake look at this thing absolutely amazing like melts in your mouth very good very good Cake and beer. Cake and dark matter. Okay. Voice of reason. Well worth having. And here's the link again to the main page that I put together on our Gilded server on the announcement uh folder okay channel where i provide all the links to these uh sources okay and it will be in the description of the video once we upload this video cake always has his place lonely piggy indeed felix chicho howdy i have almost finished making my first song just need to record vocals tomorrow which is nerve-wracking ah wish me luck good luck felix good luck and awesome congrats on finishing almost finishing your first song salute brother now another person uh, that is from Canada but Ontario okay you want to check out her podcasts okay Julie dr. Julie Pons, Ponis, Ponis, okay. She is phenomenal. A Canadian professor at Western, uh, I believe it was Western University, where she was fired because she refused to have a medical procedure to be able to teach. And she was an ethics professor, right? She came to light when she put out a little short video, um, very passionate video, saying what it felt like to be persecuted by her university okay for refusing to succumb to coercion and demanding that she have uh, informed consent uh, for mandates that the government had um, demanded of Canadians forced on Canadians right so she has come to her own light she has a podcast she interviews a lot of people shares a lot of information this is his po her podcast okay so you can just listen to it and she also has da, 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 ch, 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 uh, rumble channel where the videos are available and her channel is the democracy fund right fantastic and she interviews a whole bunch of different types of people shares a lot of information like for example the last one her interview was just a young artist in canada right and i don't check out everything she puts out but i i check her work right uh some of the stuff is short some of the stuff is long uh just information she is a true warrior okay with an amazing feminine energy that is intoxicating right really okay 
Felix Chicho is nothing massive, kind of a Dallas uh, ballast about how my friend's friendship group is going to slowly move apart because of us moving apart from university and careers. Pretty emotional for me. And music is a good outlet. Music is an amazing outlet. And yeah, transition. It's a beautiful thing. It's a celebration, really. So salute to finding new new loves and new friends and new new partners and new things to uh, explore right we have to we have to clean house to be able to make room for new things coming into our lives that's part of growth so congrats on that front ballad bad ballas i was like ballas ballad You can follow her work uh, from Ontario, Canada. Another person, Canadian perspective from on Ontario, uh, does geopolitics, politics, as well as economics. Viva Frey. He became huge because of the trucker movement. Okay. He was pretty big before the trucker movement in Canada, but he really took it on. And he does amazing news analysis, uh, especially in regards to Canada and uh to many he's a canadian hero right a true warrior a true warrior right standing for what's right okay if you want to know a canadian perspective it's uh another great channel to follow and this is his rumble page okay and his brother uh barnes uh, appears on the Duran a fair bit. His brother's a lawyer in the United States, fantastic lawyer. I don't check out his work directly, but I follow you know most of the stuff that he puts out on the Duran. Well, everything on the Duran, and I check out uh, Viva uh, and the other. I forget his first name, Barnes. Uh, they're brothers, so he does a lot of interviews with his brother as well. Uh, we should be able to see at least one of them here. Uh, let's see, let's see. Yeah, there he is. This guy right here. Okay. Sidebar with Sidney Watson, and he doesn't mention his brother's name. Uh, da, 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 da. So he does a lot of interviews and stuff like this and talks about, there it is. Um, oh, he doesn't give his brother's name. So this is an interview of him. These two are brothers, right? And he's amazing, this guy right here. Okay. This guy right here. Uh, Viva. Viva Barnes Law. Viva ba Yeah, Viva Barnes. Viva Barnes. Viva Frey. Yeah, Viva Frey. And this is Barnes. Viva Barnes, right? so fantastic fantastic if you see interviews with this guy check him out check him out check him out i partake of his live streams do you elder god awesome awesome yeah he does live streams on rumble fantastic stuff right fantastic stuff right um lots of politics lots of politics like domestic u.s and canadian politics okay very much focused on u.s canadian politics well worth checking out well worth checking out okay now we can't consume heavy content all the time we need a little lightness in our lives and for me the lightness comes through memology 101 and i check out his work on bitshoot i think he's on sensor tube as well i believe uh but i don't really consume too much as as you can tell i don't really consume too much stuff on sensor tube uh i consume my content on bitchu rumble and odyssey video content anyway okay so his memes are sort of recent news events uh brought to you in sound bites 52 seconds 30 seconds 49 seconds sometimes they go up to like two minutes two and a half minutes max right so it's little memes that he creates video memes that he creates and uh, it's well worth checking out his stuff i do i almost check out everything that he puts out okay because it's a quick sound bite, right? It's a quick sound bite. So, Mimology 101. Now, politics and economics, I've mentioned this before, there should be one word. It's like space time. There is no such thing as space by itself or time by itself. It's called space time. And politics, economics is the same thing. It should be one thing. They work together. And if you want to follow politics, the number one source I have for politics is Armstrong Economics. And I check out his blog everything that he puts out for free on his blog it includes geopolitics as well armstrong economics put this on your must check out news and information on a daily basis he puts out stuff daily okay felix chicho this is the chorus 
if you're interested god knows we had a good run pray the best is yet to come no more mindless fun but i'll miss the stories we spun haha <laughs> nice and by the way felix uh ba -ba -ba -ba. god knows we had a good run fantastic pray the best is yet to come uh, it might be best in a different light right and you don't have to pray that the best is yet to come much more great things are to come after university after school uh no more mindless fun i disagree with that because there's tremendous amount of mindless fun to be had outside of school phenomenal times phenomenal times and i can honestly tell you some of the greatest times i ever had were outside of centralized indoctrination centers that includes university right but i'll miss the stories we spun sure it's fun uh it's fun to look back and have enjoy you know take a look at what you've done in the past and enjoy it but don't get uh, too caught up in nostalgia there are amazing times to be had yet okay uh elder god truth is subject depending on what part of the tree you sit haha <laughs> first time chat first time chat we're gonna have a sip uh empty kennel aren't bitch and rumble basically youtube for the right wing and <laughs> unsubstantiated info absolutely not if you were if you were geopolitically speaking economically speaking and personally speaking only following information on sensor tube and which is youtube by the way sensor tube and you didn't check out any of the content coming out from the creators on bitch rumble and odyssey then you would have been completely misinformed as to what is happening in the world they're not right wing they're truth tellers they're people who want to speak their mind and give you a perspective outside of technocratic censored platforms right sensor tube is a censored platform it's like big brother telling you what you can consume information wise right if you are only consuming your content on sensor tube i.e youtube you're not going to be informed as to what's happening in the world please 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 make sure you check out content from creators independent creators on bitchute rumble and odyssey especially the ones that have been completely deplatformed by facebook twitter and censored to those those are the voices you need to hear right because if power is trying to silence an idea then that idea is worth sharing and worth looking into okay at least looking into right why are they afraid of uh uncensored information why are technocrats and centralized power so afraid of people speaking their mind or giving their analysis on certain things just imagine what took place in the last three years regarding certain flu that's been going around right a lot of people got deplatformed and censored for sharing information right their perspective was taking place which now that the cdc and the fda and the technocratic sites allow and actually support right now just imagine why would you want to be three years late in being able to consume that information understand what's taking place because these people uh these sensor tube and these platforms censored that information why wouldn't you like just imagine what your life would have been like if you knew this information three years ago right it's like doing a stock trade if you if you get your information first you're gonna do better than people who did get their information after the fact right after the fact i missed some of the chat that's popped up uh ba -ba -ba -da -da -da. Oh, first on chat let's check this out weird how they emerge kind of ba -ba, the whole youtube fiasco ba -ba 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 -ba. felix chicho thank you i'll probably change uh, that then mindless fun can still be had mind amazing fun can still be had have you seen alex stein on youtube alex stein no i'm for birdie here i don't know alex stein uh, empty kennel i understand youtube is censored uh it's more it, it's disgustingly censored and it's unfortunately probably for uh, for the best no 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 just because something is censored doesn't mean it's some 
somehow valuable as it seems your insanity no it doesn't but shouldn't you be allowed to make that decision instead of the technocrats making that decision for you are you a free thinking human being do you have critical thought critical analysis or do you want to be spoon fed like a little fucking baby right what are you if you want to be spoon fed like a little baby and live in a bubble sure stay on censored platforms more power to you that is the audience that they're going for if you think you're a free thinking human being you can take ideas and go hmm, okay no that doesn't make sense that bs oh take an idea hey what's that maybe that makes sense maybe i should go down that rabbit hole and see where it leads me then go on the other platforms but if you want to be spoon fed like a little baby maybe like applesauce then sure stay on censored platforms i can honestly tell you the people that i know that only consume information through facebook twitter and censor to are dumb dumbs they're 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 they have they're totally clueless as to what's really taking place in the world and they're getting burned right uh they're afraid of uncensored information because it does material harm sometimes fact like information spewed from centralized power has done so much harm to humanity so much harm to humanity my god I, like I, i'm sorry you might be uh, you might be young give give yourself a little bit of time and then look back to see what uh governments have been telling people and see how much damage they have done uh to the world right take a look at what the IMF, what the European economists uh, have been saying about their economic ideas that they implemented during the last few years, and then they've come out and said, well, maybe we made a mistake. This is after the fact where they destroyed countless lives, countless businesses, destroyed multiple economies, right? Sent countries into complete recession and depression coming to them. And then after the fact, they come out and said, well, maybe that wasn't a great idea. Meanwhile, those there are people on new tech platforms and don't consider these alt-right, uh, alt-tech or anything. This is new tech platforms that are uncensored that were saying that these were going to be disastrous policies that they were implementing, right? It's because it's not ad-friendly no it's not just ad friendly the reason they're, they're censoring is not because it's, it's not ad friendly they're censoring because they're centralized power they have a certain narrative to 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 push right they are basically it's a sort of a fascist regime that we live under in the western world right governments and corporations working together to censor information because you could have a youtube channel censor tube channel where you're uploading content and your content is ad free you don't have to run ads okay you don't have to run ads okay gang what i'm gonna do i'm gonna skip some of the comments and we're gonna go through this information because we're getting close to you know the half an hour mark until the end and we definitely want to check out julian assange's um interview that we can't share by the way this is this is a great segue um uh, ba, 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 who is it empty kennel there's a there's a video that we're about to watch right that's john pilger one of the greatest journalists of our lives in the last 50 years interviewing julian assange another one of the greatest journalists to ever exist right two of the greatest journalists doing a 25 minute interview where it's not allowed to be on censor to to be on youtube you can't watch this on you they killed the video right and we can't load this full live stream on sensor 2 because sensor 2 will kill this live stream that's that's why this end segment of this live stream will not be loaded on sensor 2 right and it is an extremely important interview if you want to know what's going on in the world okay gang let's go through these speedy gonzalez armstrong economics amazing information for economics greg hunters usa watchdog i'll say this again i don't agree with everything being shared here but it's good economic and certain amount of geopolitical and health information his channel got killed from sensor two okay i don't agree with everything here not by a long shot however it's a good perspective to have so for example this guy's perspective here 
fantastic global ba -ba 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 -ba. read this yourself okay amazing information must know information this video here is very much centered around around uh sort of a religious ideology interpreting the bible and how it connects up to uh prophecies and stuff like this is it's, it's it's it was funny to listen to cute i agree with the economic collapse coming but i disagree with certain events however it's a perspective that i will keep note of right even though i don't, I don't agree with it i laughed through some of it i only watched like half an hour i laughed through some of it right but it's an agenda that's being pushed I don't have to agree with everything that a certain channel is sharing. I just want to have access to it and make my own informed decision. It's like informed consent. Okay. It's like informed consent. Good economic news. He's interviewed Cliff High. Like Cliff High, I found Cliff High through this guy. Okay. So, for example, he has this guy that's Christian, shares a Christian perspective. He has this guy that's Jewish. That has a jewish perspective on what's taking taking place in the world there are medical people here there are traders here trading in currencies and gold and futures and stuff like this he's got armstrong economics being interviewed here he's got oh my god like catherine austin fitz catherine austin fitz this person right here amazing catherine austin fitz check out her work right i check out almost any interview that she gives i know her work very well i haven't included it in these sources of news and information because I, don't, I don't check it on a weekly basis but he interviews kathleen austin fitz amazing economic news uh take with grain of salt of course everything but it's good to have it's a good perspective to have good thing to check out zero hedge check out the articles here okay there's good articles here there's bad articles here uh, perspective well worth having lots of data focused on economics focused on economics zero hedge zero hedge wolf street wolf street good perspective to have good perspective to have i read not everything here but i skim the head the the titles here right and i decide which ones i want to read okay we love zero hedge we love zero hedge dub says <laughs> dub x y and if you love zero hedge you should check out wolf street as well okay wolf street economics is worth having he also has a podcast and interviews that he does and stuff but i mainly check out his articles he references a lot of data a lot of charts a lot of graphs and gives his his per perspective on things right okay well worth having well worth having empty kennel i don't quite understand why we keep qualifying statements about good perspective but they all have to be taken with a grain everything has to be taken with a grain of salt that's a given that's a given it's like it's like saying being alive means you have to breathe of course you have to breathe if you don't breathe you're dead right so that's a given that's a given do not take anybody's word as the word of god if you believe in such things or anybody that comes out and says i represent science right right there when someone says that you understand that they're a cult leader and anybody that follows their work must be a dum dumb if they follow it to the t all right if you know what i mean okay now other sources of news i'm gonna go through this speedy gonzalez i'm gonna go through this speedy gonzalez meme uh, a different perspective can be good but i don't think chicho means in a good versus bad way or more yeah exactly it's a perspective worth having end of story check it out right ready for this we're gonna go through this redacted news on rumble good discussion about what's going on politically economically some of it geopolitics oriented okay redacted news this guy got fired from mainstream propagandists because he wasn't he was being censored by them okay jimmy dory can you love jimmy dory jimmy dory check out jimmy dory okay lark bark salute salute hope you're doing well jimmy dory fantastic if you live in the united states if you ain't checking out jimmy dory i don't know what the hell you're doing okay check out jimmy dory great perspective 
great inter interviews with some of the greatest thinkers of our time by the way one person i didn't include here my god i can't believe i didn't include it we're gonna go there right now the gray zone i for totally forgot to include the gray zone and the gray zone um we're gonna go gray zone odyssey odyssey i check out the gray zone on odyssey okay but uh, where is their odyssey page gray zone let's check it out um they have a sensor tube channel as well odyssey the gray zone life no no that's not it where's the gray zone where's the gray zones odyssey channel da, 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 da. the gray new deal the gray zone the gray zone the gray zone the gray zone oh man i have it somewhere else in my bookmarks i check out anyway this is the gray zone okay i'm gonna include this here i'm gonna pin this to make sure i include it in my thing check out the gray zone definitely check out the gray zone i can't believe i forgot to include max blumenthal and aaron mate anyone that follows my work you guys know that i reference them a lot right so um, aaron mate max blumenthal fantastic information check them out check them out gang check them out okay now another place that we go to another place to go to ron paul liberty report Oh, empty skin empty kennel says gray zone straight up propaganda network and you talk about oh my god empty kennel please please get off the censored platforms and check out some real real news okay check out some real news man really if you think gray zone the gray zone is propaganda man you i don't know where you're coming from check out the interviews that aaron mate does check out the coverage that max blumenthal has done please 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 just spend do us a favor do me a favor if you're here for one month just check out some of the news sources that i've supplied don't listen to anything that mainstream corporate propaganda is putting out and then after a month go back to some of the sources you had before you're gonna vomit right you're gonna you're gonna be so upset with yourself that you believe they're bullshit that you're you're gonna go through a depressed period and then build yourself back up and realize that we all make mistakes we all mis make mistakes okay ron paul liberty report okay ron paul true warrior uh mcadams on here fantastic uh he's been preaching the same thing for decades and he's been proven to be right on many many important occasions one of them being the invasion of iraq right Corbett report Canadian living in the in Japan right and he has a lot of amazing articles amazing information he's been at this for a long time almost as long as I have <laughs> right he came on the stage a few, a few months or a couple of years after I came on the stage when I was blogging right but he's gone on his own he's done fantastic work a uh, lot of references he's got an amazing community right i don't check out his stuff on a regular basis anymore but he is a trusted source and well worth looking into okay the corbett report.com he got he got banned off sensor tube last year a couple of years ago right he got kicked off with there so he's on rumble he also has a Substack page but the main source you can go to is his website the corbett report okay well worth checking out well worth checking out cross talk oh cross talk we already talked about i included that in another section as well on contact with chris hedges right if you guys know you've been following my work you know i love chris hedges i do not agree with everything he has to say right i disagree with him adamantly about certain things he has to say but i have full respect for chris hedges really huge respect for chris hedges i've read one of his books skimmed through some of the other ones online Re i've read tons of articles by him watched a lot of interviews a lot of lectures by him i don't agree with everything he has to say but he's a warrior and i fully respect his uh, his work okay chris hedges um, another person that elder god actually turned me on to this person okay I, i'm still new to his channel i wish he had a channel on rumble or odyssey or bit because i don't 
come to sensor two very often so and i don't get notifications from sensor two so i forget to check out his channel right uh so if anybody can send them a message if anybody is in close contact with them please ask him to upload to rumble bitcher or odyssey that way i can actually follow his work turn on notifications and get the notifications um so i'm not fam too familiar with his work but he does fantastic work okay he does fantastic work uh more power to him and elder god salute thank you for turning on uh, turning us on to him okay david knight show david knight show pawn is the one that turned me on to the david knight show and i do check out uh not everything by him but i do check out a fair bit by him very intelligent okay interview with kathleen austin fitz kathleen austin fitz makes the rounds through all independent media sources because 100 percent beautiful information right um Gerald Salente, awesome, another geophysicist that got into politics and economics, right? So his work is fabulous. Uh, David Knight, again, I don't agree with everything he has to say, uh, but more power to him. Okay. Another channel worth following, especially regarding certain events in the last third, three years, Frontline COVID-19 Critical Care Alliance. You want to know what's going on? Check this out. Empty Kennel check this out because this is information you haven't been privy to if you're only consuming content on sensor tube and you better be privy to this if you want to know what's going on okay frontline COVID care alliance okay well worth checking out well worth checking out another person well worth checking out on rumble chris her uh, St uh steve kirsch steve kirsch fantastic a true warrior to the core right to the core and he does fantastic work he's put his money where his mouth is and he's been killing it he's been killing it he does a lot of interviews he talks to a lot of people he's a huge activist and he's um he's done fantastic work 30 minutes we're going through elder god zoom zoom we might go a little bit over today uh da -da 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 -da. Substack pages. These are the Substack pages that I follow, and I follow others as well. But these are the ones I check on a regular basis. Merrill's COVID newsletter. Enough said. You should know what's being printed here. You should know the information here. Okay. Second smartest guy in the world. Good info. He sources a lot of articles from other people as well reference the law so it's a sort of a um what do you call it uh, uh, compiles information but he also writes a lot of stuff his own stuff as well so while well, we're checking out i like his work second smartest guy in the world uh robert malone who is robert malone check out his stuff enough said enough said a true warrior true warrior okay you want to follow his work i don't read everything he has to say but i skim through many of his stuff and i definitely like his sunday strips right sunday strip stuff that he puts out and he puts out friday funnies as well i believe if i recall correctly right uh, maybe someone else that puts out friday funnies but sunday strip he puts out fantastic little memes and cartoons and stuff like this i mean this one don't I and mean, if you click on this there's a whole bunch more right so for example check this out this is by the way uh this is this is empty kennel this is you this is you so empty kennel is right here turning to people who want to get information says don't go in there that's a bad that's the bad place full of races and bigots come back to the good side right and the person seeking information because they know they're you know they're intelligent enough to be able to process bs from good info the good side kick me out for telling the truth and this person here says just obey and they'll let you back in got it get it okay good 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 and lots of memes and stuff so robert malone fantastic fantastic steve kirsch has a substack page i follow his work i don't read everything he has to say but i check out every article okay I check out every article to see what data there is if there's any interviews i want to check out steve kirsch well worth checking out if there's one 
channel you want to follow on Substack is is this one right here, Steve Kirsch. Okay, regarding certain events, Jessica Rose, one of the greatest warriors uh, of our generation. Okay, powerhouse, powerhouse, powerhouse. A Canadian living in Israel right now. Okay, uh, and she's been a truth teller from day one. Fantastic, fantastic. You can follow her work. Highly recommend it. Another person, Canadian, um, is this guy right here. Noble, noble truth with Rav Aurora. Okay, is he's a Canadian that the Canadian government went after because he was speaking certain amount of truth. So the fascist government in Canada decided to put the full weight of the Canadian government to go persecute this guy. Right? Remind you of someone? Well worth checking out. Well worth checking out. And here is Cliff High's Substack page as well. Fun writings, trippy, uh, sort of cryptic, sort of cryptic, right? So this is Cliff High's newsletter, okay? So those are my main sources of news and information, gang. Um, just to let you know, I'm going to add uh, the gray zone here as well because we need the gray zone here as well, the gray zone, so I don't forget. And I'm going to grab, and here's the links. Here's the, oops, that's not it. That's the gray zone. Uh, boop. Anyway, the thingamajiggy, the, the link, all the links will be in the description of this video. Empty kennel, I don't get everything from YouTube. I just don't agree that this method of taking it shotgun blast of dubious info and thinking bit shoot isn't hugely biased to the right wing is somehow free thing. Look, dude, uh, kennel, do you think I'm right wing? Because SensorTube, the first platform I started loading information on outside of SensorTube was bit shoot right here let me change my uh let's let's bring this video back right so the first place i started uploading content on right when i realized the sensor tube was a dying platform was bit shoot do you consider me to be right wing right because i have my oldest content outside of well no i uploaded to um what is it called vimeo and um daily whatever the french site uh back in 2007 2008 but i'm not right wing so why would you say bit shoot is a right wing platform when there's people who aren't right wing uploading to bit shoot right like it, it, it's crazy like just imagine living in a city and there's a group of people there that are right wing and then people outside of your city say that that city is a right-wing city. Don't go to that city. Meanwhile, the people who live there in that city who aren't right-wing, they look at those people calling the city right-wing right as idiots. Because how could you call a platform right-wing when it's an open platform that anyone can load information on, right? A city, anybody can move into a city and live in that city, right? So city can't be right-wing. You can't say don't go to that city because that's right wing, right? That doesn't make sense. That's idiotic, right? That's idiotic. You have to crack that perception. So on the way, I found a video about parasites and I ordered uh, wormwood. Wormwood seed is very good, and there are some sprouting uh, all over my backyard, literally everywhere. Cool, cool. But wormwood, be careful with the garden. I think it's it could it could be an invasive species as well right you seem to really hate finding your free news yeah that's what it looks like i think your perspective and rhetoric brings people to the right uh, how how is that have you checked out my work man check out my work for the last 17 18 years online i didn't say bit shoot is inherently right i said it's biased towards towards it the the there a, a bunch of right wing right wing people went to bit shoot because they were being deplatformed from everywhere else so that was the first wave of people set saying we don't want to be censored we want to speak our mind right that's just the first wave right and then other people followed because they found out they're being censored and deplatformed they they killed channels for the stupidest thing you can 
imagine, right? You want to go to free free speech platforms. End of story. I don't give a rat's ass who's there. As long as you're there, you can speak your mind. That means you're free to speak your mind. That's it. That's it. You want to stay in jail? Stay in jail, man. There are a lot of people that don't want to live outside of jail. Watch Shawshank Redemption. There's an old guy that had been in jail for decades, and then it's time for him to go free, and he gets into a fight because he doesn't want to go go out. You know, he doesn't want to go out into the real world because the only thing he knows is the jail. And then when he's out, let out into the real world, he goes into an apartment, lives in an apartment, and he kills himself. He hangs himself because the real world is too much for him. All right. If you want to be in jail for the rest of your life, that's your prerogative. That's your choice. That's your choice. Let's read Cheryl. Cheryl, I hope you got a voice of reason for this guy. Now, Cheryl to Empty Kennel. I might agree that more right-leaning or simply anti-left-leaning folks use the platforms. So the average content does seem to lean right. And that's, again, that's because the first wave of people that went there were people who were being deplatformed from, from the main technocratic sites. And BitChute went business model. <laughs> I can build a platform and say free speech platform. I'm not going to censor people. You guys can come there. BitChute went, okay, we built that. Guess what? Rumble and Odyssey came along and said, great business model. These stupid Google censor tube is censoring people. The, their whole business model is to bring more people to their platform. Meanwhile, they're kicking people off their platform. Well, what a idiotic business model you just destroy your own business model right you're you're forcing people to go to another platform that's it like the google alphabet inc business model is done that's a that's a sinking ship it's over right empty kennel chicho i used to watch tons of your content how can i disagree with you without being called a uh, lemming or uh, dude it's not about it, empty kennel look it's not about where um uh, what do you call it who is uploading to a certain platform right it's about the platform being uh sent uh free speech that's the key right you can't trust me look brother sister uh, whatever right if you're afraid to go to a certain platform because you're scared that it might be information there that you disagree with then there's something you have to take a look at internally to figure out why that is right why is that why are you afraid of right leaning or left leaning or whatever leaning it is right staying on a censored platform to consume information will turn you into a dumb dumb the longer you stay there that's what i've seen happen to people that only consume information on facebook i know people that consider facebook to be the internet really the only thing they do is they go on facebook and they only consume information that they can find on facebook well guess what those are some of the dumbest motherfuckers i've ever seen in my life right they maybe can they maybe people might think of them as smart but they're completely brainwashed they're brain dead okay don't fall into that trap really for years i've been telling people get off facebook get off facebook okay get off facebook because you're not getting information you that 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 sh you should be getting and they just like chicho 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 10 years later man i've seen them make some horrendous decision horrendous decisions my god okay makes me want to cry okay because i love them but they belong to a cult now right cheryl to empty kennel further i think anyone that's been here more than a handful of times knows i'm definitely not right leaning but i value what chicho and gang have to say because it helps me see the broader picture yeah and we i disagree with cheryl on certain things but we agree to disagree right go to our gilded page we disagree on certain things but that's fine that's what human beings do right 
empty kennel just because I believe in some degree of censorship. I don't believe in censorship, period. Centralized power should not allow censorship, should not be allowed to censor information. Does not mean I disregard the downside or live in a squeeze. So look, empty kennel, if you've watch my content before take it take a look at my commentary regarding centralized power censorship of comic books when censorship hit co the comic book industry they brought it under the guise of saving the children the same thing they've used for decades to save the children we must censor comic books they ended up killing some of the greatest comic book companies in the fucking world in history. Some of the comic books that are going for tens of thousands of dollars right now that are sought after by comic book collectors, right? That movies are based on, right? They're, those companies went bankrupt because government censored, right? Government forced the industry to self-censor itself, right? f censorship if you know anything about censorship if you know anything about censorship especially censorship from centralized power being dictated down to the masses it is death of humanity okay end of story end of story gang let's do julian assange let's do julian assange okay so for those of you watching this content let me do this for those of you that are watching this content on sensor 2 sensor 2 will not allow us to load the remainder of this live stream to their platform they will kill our channel it is information that you should be privy to you must have this information it's an interview of um uh, of julian assange and uh, uh oh my god uh said so many names uh john pilger john john pilger interviewing julian assange from 2016 okay so we're gonna watch that interview right now i'm gonna put on my headphones here okay and we're gonna watch that interview right now oh this is a little delayed okay we're gonna watch that interview right now and you should have this information okay for those of you that are listening to this podcast on soundcloud we won't be able to load the remaining of this on soundcloud so thank you for listening to this podcast okay what we're gonna do we're gonna upload the full live stream to bitchu rumble and odyssey okay aside from that gang i'm gonna change the perspective 